All right, what's up, people? Something I uh, wanted to do, I'm gonna sell these brakes and I uh, have a dry ice machine and uh, it's got uh, the dry ice man hooking me up with some ice and I finally got my compressor all set up so I wanted to play with doing some dry ice cleaning. Uh, I'm gonna sell these brakes. Uh, you can hit me up if you wanna buy them. They'll probably be sold by the time you see this. Uh, but these are F80 brakes on, these are actually F80 or F80, F82, M3, M4 uh, brakes set up for steel cal steel rotors uh, so these are bigger than the stock f80 steels so they're the same size as the f80 carbon ceramics that they repurposed and made for the m2cs and so i did the carbon ceramic swap i decided to sell the reds and keep the gold and so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, clean up all this gunk i'll post a picture on instagram and we'll sell them but i wanted to show you a dry ice machine wow Right, it's always fun to mess with this kind of stuff. So, here's what I'm working with here. I'll capture each part. So let's do the, the main calipers first. So you can see how funky they are. Typical, these have like 3,000 miles on them, these brakes. But, and I could clean it up to a large extent with just all-purpose cleaner and stuff like that. But, I think we can do much better with some dry ice. And I'm out here because I don't want to do this inside and get all this funk all over my garage and all over my car, so we're going to do it out here. All right, so here's the setup. I've got, uh, this is the Evo, which we have this in the OG store. So my phone on the side here. So, oh, by the way, um, the price just went down on this a little bit, I think. I'm not sure. You know, I just get these from Scott. What the heck am I doing here? But I don't know. I guess he got us some kind of deal. So the price went from ten grand to nine grand. So if you want one of them, now would be a good time to get one. Just get this thing set up here, unwound. So this is the detailing machine. This isn't like I'm going to make a million dollars a year off of my uh, dry ice cleaning services. Uh, right now, I'm under power. I have a five-horse compressor. You know, you really need to have a bigger compressor to get the you know, full effect out of this thing. But all you do is pull this little trap door. Here's my ice, which has been sublimating all weekend. And I'm going to put it in the machine. Just like this. Had about 100 pounds, now I'm probably down to 65 pounds or so because I should have done this on Friday and I didn't. But this is a very specific pellet, pelletized ice that you have to get from air gas, which is hard to get, it seems. So now I'm gonna do one. I'm still gonna have to do some work here, right? I'm still gonna have to wipe them off afterward, I think. But I can get them most of the way clean. So I have it grounded to my cart here, so hopefully I'm not gonna get shocked while I'm messing with this. Cool. So I got some goggles, and I've got 145 PSI is what I have for my five horse compressor. That is too much fun. <laughs> Look at that, it's clean in two seconds. I don't know that you could have more, more fun in the world than to do, do that. There really is an art to this where, you know, I'm just moving this around, but 
Um, you don't want to super freeze any one area. You want to make sure you're moving it around properly. This is so cool. See a little better now. So see all this gunk just disappears. Now, it's a little humid out here, so that's where we're getting a lot of that plume. It would be way better if I was doing it inside, inside but I don't want to mess up my garage. It's awesome. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's insane. It's getting a little wet. So let me go grab a towel so I can just wipe this off. All right, so I'm just using some N914 spray, but the brakes are so cold that it's grabbing the humidity from the air and creating condensation on here. So, you know, you'd really want to do it. Not in Florida humidity, but I don't want to get that funk all over my garage. So I keep seeing all these videos pop up of all these people doing dry ice stuff. And uh, it reminds me of like when I was first doing the, when I was doing the pressure washing stuff and then I'd see all these, all these people start making videos on them with these 14 foot lances and doing too much pressure and all kinds of weird stuff telling you if you're interested in dry ice you need to contact Scott Dreis the Dreis man he's like the guy he's like I am to pressure washing in car in the car world anyway you don't want to get some of this nonsense <laughs> I see these people using these freaking 14 foot long lances I have no idea what they're doing like I don't know what I'm doing but I know enough because of Scott he's the guy and this is the machine you want. This is the reason why we have this machine and not some of these other janky machines. It's because it's the best. Scott tried them all. Yeah, it's freezing cold, this thing. So I'll wipe it down again as this gets back to regular temperature. Gotta do some Instagram photos of how awesome this looks. That's so cool. 
So look at that, that's before and that's after. Now, could I get it there without dry ice? Yeah, I could get it most of the way there. Probably, you know, if I got all kinds of brushes and all that, but that took me five minutes to get it there. And then imagine these were, these brakes only have like 3,000 miles. They've probably never been to the track. Imagine you had some old brakes or some old thing you need to restore that you could restore in minutes. And this is gonna look even better once we get rid of the condensation here from the temperature change. So I'll show you them once we go inside. So let's do this one. First, I'm gonna take a few pictures and we'll do the other one. This is so fun. I've been, I've been waiting to do this all week. It just keeps getting, it's like a cold glass of water out here in the Dirtsville. Cold glass of water in Humidville, I should say. Well, to me, that's pretty much the epitome of detailing. I don't get any more credit of detailing than that. So that's why I have this machine for me. That's why I'm interested in it, is to be able to have it so I can do stuff like this when I want to. I've got like shaky hands. I'm like, I need to do the next one. I'm getting all excited. So, you know, you want to be in a climate controlled, humidity controlled environment, unlike I am right now. Um, you know, those of you in the Northeast and stuff wouldn't have an issue. Um, as long as you're not doing it outside in the summer, but, um, this, this sort of transformative stuff, it's just so much fun to have. But my, my five horsepower compressor is able to do this. It's a two-stage silent piston FIAC compressor. It's about a $5,000 compressor or something like that. And uh, you would really want some more. I think mine delivers about 28 or 29, 30 CFM. The more CFM you get, the more this will do. It'll remove adhesives and other things off. Um, so in a perfect world, you'd have a bigger, heftier horsepower um, compressor, plus you'd have a, a desiccant dryer. So that way you can keep, get rid of the plume and you would do it in your community control garage. getting the surface of the pad clean. That's cool. See, that's what happens when you don't have the right stuff. You can't see anything. But I'm just doing this little spot cleaning. Not a big deal. I think that's the way to go. Do the underside first. That's so cool when you just blow off the Brembo. It would have taken you 10 minutes to clean that off. go so see what the pellets look like if you haven't watched one of these before see these little pellets that's what you need so these I don't think are gonna look as transformative but I did want to clean them up just so I can put them in a box
So like I said, these aren't, doesn't look like the rotor does, but at least we got it cleaned up. I don't know if that's really worth the time. Oh, there that is. A-B comparison there for you. Pretty nifty, huh? So this is one of those things where some of you are going to get real cranky, like, what are you even wasting your time doing this? Well, I'm selling these. I'll probably get a lot more, get a thousand bucks more for it when it's clean. I gotta let the machine, it's getting frozen up here, so I gotta let it thaw out. So I'm going to go inside and work on the other stuff. All right there, people, check that out. That's freaking awesome. So imagine So imagine, you know, if you kind of did this stuff, you cleaned up stuff, you sold stuff for a living, having one of these machines. So just take this kit. So the, this, this kit here, let, let's say that I had cleaned it up and um, versus the video that I just made and the, you know, if you can make a video showing someone, you know, what, what dry ice, you know, that you dry ice cleaned everything up. There's not a remarkable difference in the rotors because there really isn't much on them and a lot of that's embedded rust and that's going to rust back over in two seconds anyway but so this kit let's let's say i was going to sell it for 3500 bucks all dirty and i'm going to sell it for uh five grand you know that's 1500 bucks that'll take over a good chunk of the cost of this darn machine so again you'd have to you have to really have a reason for having one of these one of these driest machines but for me I like having one. I think it makes a lot of sense uh, to have for somebody who's detail oriented who, you know, I just love cleaning stuff up and getting things, making them look better. And so that's what a, uh, a dry ice machine can do for you. Getting these calipers totally, completely clean, dialed, and new looking. Gosh, it doesn't get much better than that. Look at that. Versus where the way they looked before. It's pretty insane. All right, so that's a wrap. I wanted to share with you, you know, a cleanup of some, of some rotors and, or some rotors and some calipers and 
parts and pieces. Uh, I doubt this will still be for sale by the time you watch this video. I'm going to sell it for 5,000 bucks to somebody. Um, there's one guy who's going to sleep on it. I'm going to give him until tomorrow morning. He, he reached out before I even took him off the car. And, um, and then I'll post them up on Instagram and they'll probably sell. It's such a cool kit and it helps me offset the, that transition to the carbon ceramics that I put on the, the M2. Uh, but dry ice cleaning is, is really cool. I mean, the, the, the big problem, um, conundrum for you, like if you're like me or someone like me, you're just kind of doing it casually. You know, to get ice is the tricky part. Uh, but if you're going to do it, you're going to use these machines. So like if you're a de professional detailer, you know, work, at, do a couple extra jobs and transplant that money right over to one of these things. Um, so you need, you, you need to spend about, you know, about 15, 16, 17 grand um, to set up, to have the same exact setup that I have. So you got, you know, nine grand on the machine. Um, you're going to want some Prevost piping to pipe through the garage, a couple of hose reels. Uh, you're going to want a, you know, four or $5,000 air compressor, uh, which you'll be able to use that air compressor for other things like rip as pneumatics and stuff like that. So um, I think, uh, I think, you know, think it, you know, if you're considering it, I, I'd, if, if you're a detailer, I would highly, highly recommend it. Even if you're just a paint correction specialist to have it to clean out cracks and crevices and get, you know, polish residue out of an emblem or something like that. Uh, this machine, again, this isn't the restorative machine. Uh, they, that, that, to do that, you're going to spend a hundred grand, you know, 60 to a hundred um, to get a, a setup like that to be able to do like what we did in my E36 before. Uh, but this one is, uh, is really cool. I, I know it's an extreme luxury. I know that this makes a lot of people angry, but I work really freaking hard. I've been here for two, uh, 12 hours today shooting videos. Um, and, you know, it's cheating because I'm doing what I love, but, you know, I was working on the suspension. I'm going to do a, a giveaway on this M2. So I, you know, I've been here like, 12 hours today and uh, working on, on things. I'm going to shoot another video on the GT4 this weekend. So while all of you are taking your, and my family is on um, holiday weekend, um, I'm working. And that's part of the reason why I can get an ICS machine, I think. Uh, so anyway, that's uh, just a little side note there for when you want to stick a you know, it'll jab at me for you know, the cost of something like this and how ridiculous it is. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, that's a pretty cool, I think that's a cool video. So hopefully it turned out okay, um, the exposure and all that. Uh, so you can see that, that transformation, but uh, it's pretty awesome. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you on the next one. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. See you, I guess, tomorrow.